Found Etiocles' tomb. Well done, Keeper. Keeper, the heir of memories must search these old halls for the symbol she seeks. Will the heir rise to the task? I suppose she will. Now? Every step brings you down a very long road to the heir. What you cannot show her, Demos will. Demos? How? The heir will know when the time comes. Altair 2? I've. Or Alexios has found the next location. Great work. Where to? The tomb of Ateocles. I think I found a way in. Altair 2? Found my way in. <laughs> I think I'm getting good at this. There might be a second career in this, if Assassin isn't your thing. I still think this is a bad idea, Layla. We don't know the source of the radio interference, and there are temporal discrepancies in the Animus memories. Noted, Doctor. Layla out. the king of Thebes. I still can't believe I'm seeing it with my own eyes.
so well preserved. It looks like the organic matter, the paint, the wood, none of it has aged a day. The chemical composition of the air might act as a natural form of preservation. There are tombs all over the world where corpses still have hair and nails intact, even millennia after burial. Let's talk about corpses after I'm out of here. These statues are in perfect condition. Those who paid homage here did so with their lives. symbol is close. You have done well to get this far, despite the interloper. The interloper? Do you mean Vic? Or someone else? A second symbol! Another part of a constellation. Maybe they fit together. Altair 2, can you read me? The interloper can hear us. The interloper? Ooh. Layla, we hear you, but you're breaking up. Did you say you found the second symbol? I did, and Alexios knows where the third is. I'm sure of it. I'm gonna dive back in. As your doctor, and as your friend, I insist that we stop this. We're not able to guarantee you're safe in there. The staff? The staff makes me immortal, Vic. I'll be fine. Layla, please.
Come on! Awaits the air. In this tomb, the air of memories will see how life grows from a dead place. Life growing from a tomb. If I hadn't seen the staff work, I wouldn't believe it. The air's task is to bring life where there was death, and your task dooms you to endure loss. Close your eyes and picture the face of one you will never see again. What would you tell them? I would hold them, and tell them to be strong, and that we will be together again. Remember that answer, and the pain from which it comes. You don't have to tell me, Alethea. I will always remember. I will always keep. And now, will the heir of memories rise to face the tomb? I suppose she will. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2 here. The next stop is the tomb of Orion. I'll show you how to get there when I get back. Altair 2, can you read me? We hear you. Layla, there's something you need to know. That interference in the comms is coming from an outside source. If I didn't know any better, I'd say someone was listening in. It must be related to the staff. That's just it. I recognize the interference pattern. It isn't Isu. It almost reminds me of an erudito hacking algorithm. I'd recognize a hack if I saw one. Besides, once I find the third symbol, it won't matter. If only I knew which order they go in. You could try randomly guessing. There's not that many combinations. There's no guarantee I get two chances at opening the seal. After this, I'm going back to Atlantis and I'll figure something out. We are approaching the final symbol. If the Keeper doesn't know the order of the symbols, his sister will. A hole in the ceiling. But how do I get up there?
final symbol. Another part of a constellation. They must fit together. Alter 2, can you read me? Okay, Layla, think this through. Outside the tomb of Ateocles, Alethea said Deimos would show me what the Keeper can't. But Diaz had answers Theras didn't and was killed for it. The heir is wise. Alter 2, come in, please. Layla, that you? Did you find the symbol? Three for three. We need to head back to Atlantis. In the meantime, let's run the symbols I found against known constellations. Consider the research plan B. What's plan A? Alexios knew where the symbols were, but not the order they go in. Alitha thinks Deimos may hold that secret. We have her DNA. What? Layla, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm committed, and you should be too. When I get back to Atlantis, I'm getting this done whether you're on my side or not. No, 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 not like that. A more. Yeah, there you are. Are you Brisson? The name is Demos. No, I heard you're not real. You're not real! Oh, I'm real. Here, let me show you. Your heart rate's accelerated, and your body temp is almost 98 degrees. What's happening? Itira! Korgath! Metin! That's all I know! You have to believe me! I'm not here to hurt you, Phidias. We're friends. I just want to know where these symbols come from. You would tell your friend, wouldn't you? Tira! Korgath, Metin! Are you trying to anger your friend? what I want to know. Itira, Korga, Metin. Itira, Korga, Metin. Itira, Korga, Metin. Layla, we're remote ending your session.
Tira, Gorgab, Medti. Layla? Come in. Vic, you had no right. I had to pull you out. Diving into Themos's mind almost killed you. The interloper. He is listening. He? Sigma, I'm opening fire. Doc, fall back. Kiyoshi's been hit. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2. Vic. Anyone. Can you hear me? The Great Seal has waited long enough. I'm... I can't. I've seen inside Deimos' mind. I... I can't contact the team. The Animus isn't safe. The trials of the air are just beginning. You're right. I can do this. Yours is a role of strength and resilience. Now the air must call the name of the first symbol. This symbol was the first I found, and the first name Sebaphidias was Itira. The air recalls. She heard the names of the symbols and their order. Now call out the name of the second. It was this symbol, and the second name Sebaphidias was Korgath. The air doesn't just experience memories, but holds them inside her. And now, the final symbol. I remember! Fidia somehow unlocked the order of the symbols, even if he didn't realize it. It was Itira, Korgath, Metin. Layla, can you hear us? Vic, you're alive! Sigma Force soldiers stormed the ship. Kyoshi was shot, but I stopped the bleeding. He saved us. <gasps> It isn't the staff. Someone is intentionally remote hacking our signal. I encrypted a new frequency for us, just to be sure. We need to go dark until we know it's safe. Before we go, how are you? It's good to hear your voices. Listen, I've unlocked the Great Seal. Atlantis is open. Please, don't go in until we know we can keep a secure connection. I want this as much as you do, but we need to do it together. I'm hearing you, Doctor. Atlantis has waited this long, it can wait a little longer. Until then, while I'm down here, I'm safe. Call me when Kyoshi's back on his feet. He'll be glad to hear your voice. Until then, Altair 2 is going dark. Anybody there? Victoria? Layla? Oh, nice timing. Looks like I've been able to establish a secure connection with polymorphic code. Hacker free. It's good to have you back. How's Kyoshi? You know him. Resilient as ever. He wouldn't want you worrying. Sigma team. I can't believe those bastards found the Altair too. Turns out our signal was being corrupted by the Juhani Otzoberg himself. I guess he was bored of playing Black Cross and tracking down the Juno cult. I should have known some desperate hacker from Erudito would flip on us. Their fingerprints are all over this. No way! Otso heard everything? If he tells the rest of the Templar Inner Sanctum what we're up to, we'll have every armed Absurgo goon on the planet after us. If Berg hasn't found you yet, we're still a step ahead. Then as long as I got you as backup, what are we waiting for? Let's see what this great seal is all about. Where's Victoria? You'll see. All right then. Here we go. This place is huge! Echo! These look like thrones of royalty. But who are the kings and queens?
Hello, Leila. Heir of memories. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. It seems as though we're not alone. Victoria! What are you doing down here? Layla, it was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Who's this? This is Alethea, the voice from the staff I was talking about. Of the Isu, Victoria. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. Are you sure we can trust her? We have no choice but to trust her. She's the key to finding out more about the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper Alexios. You weren't in the plans, can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep out of the way. No matter. This journey is yours and Alexios's. You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff's corruption. As Alexios finds power to fuel both him and the staff, you too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Alexios. Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you his way through the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with... her. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Wish me bon chance. The blood that is shared must also be offered, and the Great Seal will open for us. If you say so. Welcome, Keeper. You've entered the Great Throne Room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutech I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. This place... Did Pythagoras know it existed? No, I wouldn't show it to him. This room was built by the Isu to house something else. These thrones were once just thrones. Now they contain my simulations. Don't worry, I'll show you. You told me this room was meant for the heir of memories. But I got in so easily. You paid for it in blood. Blood that looks quite like ours when you look closely enough. Mater always told me there was power in our blood. I guess she was right. There's more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. The... What? I'm alive. If I'm alive, how can I come back from the underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. 
This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the Underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. You're asking for blind trust, Alethea. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. Going back now. I have to trust her. You don't belong here. Ah! 
No one stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper, but you can call me Alexios. What is this place? Keeper! A great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's coming to her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium? The resting place of heroes. When I was a boy, I dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then, why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and uh, the staff talks. It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find the means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows, maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Nekati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Death Kalyon's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise, but we all have our secrets. I'm thinking I go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Give her some time to cool down. When you introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. I could talk to Ekati. You could, though she prefers to keep to herself. The dwellers of Ferea's retreat, which is to the east, might know of her whereabouts. I'd ask them. Maybe I should investigate Dafkalion's heritage. Persephone responds best to action. We need to smother them immediately if there's a whiff of trouble against her. Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, uh, I've never had anyone ask about me before. I work west of here. It's a modest workshop. But all great things appear modest at first, don't they? What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? Here. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos's faith. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Erbis. Go, enjoy them.